Hello there. Hi. My name is Hebziba Frances, Voice for the Lord, and you are welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, this is going to be a really quick video of obedience. I'm going to call it a quick video of obedience. Um, we are currently having a three days fast and prayers for breaking generational patterns and ordaining a new lineage of Christ. And I took her time just to spend some time with God in worship and praise. And I felt led to go back to my birthday worship from last year, 2020. And as I began to worship, you know, the a heart of gratitude, like God just started reminding me of some things, you know, of how he has stood with me and delivered me in the past and how he is still that same god and i just want to use i felt like i should make a video of testimonies of the times when god has delivered me just as a just as a thanksgiving you know video to him just as a video of obedience you know reminding me that he that he's still the same god but just really saying thank you also to him that god i haven't forgotten and you know the first testimony that he um that he brought to my remembrance was this testimony from the year 2019 now, if you took my um, online course on processing your marital promises, I'm going to put the link below. Um, one of the things that I shared in that online course was my struggles with some secondary school dreams that I was having. And one of the sisters who took the online course was asking me about that. And I felt like I was going to come back to talk about it. And, you know, this is this is the time for coming back to talk about it. I'm going to make two more videos after this one. Some persons say that some secondary school dreams mean um, taking an exam and God trying to teach you something. And that is true. But for me, my the secondary school dreams I, wa I was having were directly related to spiritual warfare. So this particular deliverance, testimony of deliverance, I want to share with you is on one of those um, secondary school dreams. So the year was 2019 and um, I was praying and asking God about my marriage. And in, in September, 2019, I had a devilish spirit husband dream <laughs> where I was penetrated in the dream. And I knew that, come on, like God has delivered me from this stuff. If you read my Instagram page, you will see my deliverance testimony on that. And God actually agreed with me. He, he was like, I have delivered you. Like you are free, you know, but while praying, he told me to go on a seven days praying at midnight in tongues. And that, you know, he felt like he wanted to do something. So I obeyed and started praying at midnight, one hour in tongues. On the, Seventh night, I did not pray for one hour in tongues. Instead, I just danced and praised um, the Lord. Now, I was so tired because I had been fasting. So, on the eighth day, I didn't go anywhere. I was just sleeping because I was so tired. And um, by so 2 p.m. in the afternoon, I had a dream. Kind of like a vision. Where in the face of my younger brother, he was wearing white. He walked in with me into one of those dormitories where I had been consistently seeing myself in dreams in the past. Took me into the dormitory, took me into one of the, um, in front of one of the particular bunks. And he had me kneel then and he was praying for me. I could feel the anointing of the Lord just flowing through my body as he prayed for me. And then all of a sudden he was like, someone behind me threw a broken egg on the floor and jesus was like don't turn back they are saying that you won't see it so in my secondary school in real life i had lesbian um um a lesb a lesbian um encounter in the secondary school and i feel like some stuff had gone wrong in my destiny which is like the broken egg stuff that was broken in my destiny that the animal was saying that i would not see and Jesus said that in the dream that they are saying you won't see it. And then all of a sudden, a one of the dummy, one of the ladies came 
rolling like a huge stick in front of the bunk where I and Jesus were. And it was like, let's see how you are going to get out of here. Let's see how you are going to get out of here. And coming awake from that dream, I heard a scripture. God said, I will feed those who oppress you with their own flesh. And they shall be drunk with their own blood as with sweet wine. So that all flesh may know, all, all flesh may consider that I, the Lord, I'm your savior and I'm your deliverer. That's in Isaiah 49. Now, I woke up from the dream hearing that scripture. And as soon as I woke up, the Holy Spirit just, you know, breathed upon me. And he started to say, I should, I started praying with that scripture, declaring that scripture. God is feeding everyone who oppresses me with their own flesh. And he's giving them their own drunk to be drunk with us with sweet wine. That all flesh we know and all flesh we consider that the Lord God is Hebzibah's savior. And the Holy Spirit was so strong in the room. I was crying. And then God said, I should take communion. I should take the blood of Jesus and take the body of the, of the Lord and ordain a new day. And that was how God delivered me. Now, this deliverance was, I had graduated from secondary school in the year 2008. And this happened in the year 2019. So that was 11 years after, you know. 11 years after, like God went back in time, standing with me and saying, I'm going to deliver you from everything that the enemy thinks he has you under. The things he has hidden in the ground, hidden in your past that he doesn't even want you to see, but they are affecting you right now. I'm going to make all things new again. I'm going to set all things are right for you again. And if the reason why the enemy had that legal ground over me was because of the lesbianism, then that means I actually did what the enemy was saying. I had, you know, I, I was guilty of the reason why he had that inroad into my life. But Jesus still said no. Jesus was like, no, I am going to deliver you. I'm standing with you. Everyone who oppresses you, I'm going to feed them with their own flesh. And they shall be drunk with their own blood as with sweet wine. So that all flesh may know and consider that I, I am your savior. And you know, this day as I was just praying and giving thanks, God reminded me of this. And I feel like this video, um, I should share as a testimony to what the Lord has done in my life. I have really enjoyed the Lord in the area of deliverance. I'm going to share two more testimonies with us on um, the secondary school dreams. Um, this one was a direct like oppression concerning my destiny. The next two ones were there was a delay dream and then a um, um, witchcraft. <laughs> and god delivered me from them all and i just want to share because he placed on my heart i was just thanking him and saying god i remember you know i'm not going to forget i remember and i just want to tell him thank you with this video and i pray for you if you are going through any oppression from the enemy use the keys that the lord jesus christ gives to you there's a video on my ig there's a series on my IGTV on Instagram at Hepzibah Francis on total deliverance is a seven days fasting and praise um, program. And I also have testimonies from God coming to do for me through that. Jesus is the deliverer. He's the mighty deliverer. He's the one who is a man of war. He's the one who stands on behalf of his people. He's the one who says, Shall the prey be delivered from the hand of the captive? Shall the lawful captive be delivered? But yes, thus says the Lord. He says, even the prey shall be delivered from the hand of the captive. And the lawful captive shall be delivered. For I will save your children. He's the one who stands. If you are born again, if you know the Lord Jesus Christ, he's standing for you. He's standing for you. It doesn't matter what you have done that gives the enemy that legal ground to come in and oppress you. God says, I will deliver you. So I just pray for you that you would come to experience Jesus as the mighty deliverer, just as I have. And that the chains in your life will be broken. He says it shall come to pass in that day that the yoke shall be rolled away from your shoulder and the body shall be taken, the yoke, the body shall be taken away from your shoulder and the yoke shall be broken because of the anointing. That's what your Lord does. He takes away yokes. He breaks body. He rolls those things, those oppression, those things that stands upon your life. And it's seeming like, oh, the enemy is, 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 God takes them all away. And I pray that you will come to experience him in that dimension in Jesus name. Amen. I still have two more videos to share, um, testimonies of, um, God's deliverance in my life from these secondary school dreams. Um, I'm also going to put the link of the online course on processing your marital promises. 
if you are someone who you want to get married but there has been a lot of obstacles um <laughs> i recommend that online course to you it's free so just click on the link sign up go through the videos and get wisdom for walking through your marital journey into fulfillment in christ god bless you please share this video please subscribe and i'll see you on the next video in jesus name amen bye for now thank you jesus